Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. What happened in Wasolo Empire? The Wasolo Empire, which is sometimes referred to as the Mandinka Empire, was a short-lived empire of West Africa that was established at about 1878 and lasted until 1898. The empire was built from the conquest of Malinke ruler Samori Ture and was eventually destroyed by the French colonial army. In 1864, when the ruler of Tokolio, El Haj Umartal, died near Bandiagara, the then dominant Tokolio Empire began to show signs of weakness and instability. Seeing this, a number of chiefs took advantage of the empire's weakness and broke away to establish their own chiefdoms. The most successful among such chiefs was arguably Samori Tore of what is now southwestern Guinea. Samori had an army that was very well equipped, boasting of European firearms and a complex structure of permanent units. His army was divided into a wing of Sofa, the Mandinka term for infantry, usually made up of slaves and a cavalry section. By 1887, Samori had the capacity to field between 30,000 to 35,000 infantry and up to 3,000 cavalries. The infantry were further divided into units of about 10 to 20 men, known as Ase or Kulu. Cavalry were segmented into bands of 50 horsemen, known as Asere. Kulus were under the command of a Kuntigui, which translates to chief. Ten Kulus equaled a Bolo, which is made up of between 100 to 200 men. The Bolo, which translates to arm in the Banmana language, was strictly an infantry unit. This unit was commanded by the Bolo Kuntigui. Samori's campaign began by sweeping first through neighboring kingdoms, including the Berete and the Sise. After bringing those kingdoms under his rule, he proceeded into the Wasolo region, which is located around the border of today's Guinea and Mali. In 1876, he took control of the Bure gold mines and by 1878, his position was secure enough to officially declare himself Fa'ama, meaning military leader of a new Wasolo empire. Some of his later conquests included Kankan, which was a major Malinke trading center and part of what are now Sierra Leone and northern Côte d'Ivoire. The Mandingo Wars were a series of conflicts that occurred from 1883 to 1898 between the Wasolo Empire and France. From 1880 until his death, Samori's aspiration was challenged and opposed by the expansion of the French. He fought a number of battles against the colonial army and actually defeated them on several occasions. One notable victory he had over the French was on the 2nd of April, 1882. The battle which was staged at Woyowayanko saw Samori emerging victorious in spite of the heavy artillery of the French army. This victory temporarily brought an end to the French protectorate in Ivory Coast. Nonetheless, it was only a matter of time before Samori's fortunes began to downturn. Between 1886 and 1889, he was forced to sign several treaties relinquishing territories to the French. Samori began a steady retreat while trying to hold on to as much of his empire that he could. However, the fall of other resistance armies, especially Babem Batrari at Sikasso, gave the colonial army a big opportunity to launch a concentrated assault against the forces of Samori. Eventually, on the 29th of September 1898, he was captured by the French commandant Gaudreau and sent on exile to Gabon, effectively marking the end of the Wasolo Empire. The empire had survived for only about 20 years. By the end of the conflict, both the French and the Wadolo side had suffered heavy casualties in loss of lives. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. 
will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.